selections. There's a file in your lesson files, it's called selections. If you want to follow along with the video, you can. Um, what I did is I put different variances of brushes out here and we're going to move these values over to the other side. Um, and you're going to see the difference between how I do this. Okay. There are so many ways to select things that is so scary. So we're going to try to cover all of it. Just know that there is always more, however. So let me go through something that I would like to cover. These are a hard edge object or a hard edge stroke. This is a soft edge stroke. This is both hard and soft, and this is hard edge. Okay, so no on brushes later on. You're going to have hard edge brushes and soft edge brushes, but based upon selections, how do I know what selection tool to use based upon either soft or hard edge? Hmm, that's a different thing altogether. So here is a hard edge object, by far the easiest one to actually move around, and we can do it in several different ways. Let's say I use it based upon having a hard edge. Well, I can use the magic wand tool. And if I click on it, it just magically highlights it and I can move it over to the other side. Okay. It's going to leave a ring around it. That ring is because I have a tolerance value. Higher the tolerance value, the higher the value is that it goes within black. So let's say it's 128. tolerance. That means there's 128 variations of black in there that it looks at. And look at the ring is a lot smaller. The anti-alias is how smooth the actual selection is on the outside. So it doesn't cut off any pixels. Magic wand tool, very cheap trick. Um, I use it, but not all the time. The second way to move a hard edge object is the quick selection tool. In this case, I'm going to go around the outside edge of the object and you can see that it starts magically highlighting this object. Okay. The bad thing about this is it's very, very schizophrenic. So at one point it works quite well. In other points, it's just awful to use. Another thing I don't like about it, it doesn't have a tolerancy level, so it always leaves a really huge ring. So that's that. The third way, you can use it upon shape. So this is a round shape. And then you could take this round marquee tool, hold Alt and Shift at the same time, and click and drag out. Okay. Then what you could do after the fact if you wanted to you can use the arrow tools on the keyboard to scooch it around to get it right on top and then move it okay as you can see it has a very crisp edge on the inside here uh, what it left behind and it's based upon you having uh, the skill to basically make that perfectly shaped circle so you could mess up, but at least it gives you a very nice uh, hard edge. Okay. Uh, the fourth way to move a hard edge object over to another side is, let's say I use the paint by selection mode. Okay. When I paint, if I have 100% opacity, 100% flow, I can go in here and paint this red as skillfully as I could. Okay. And then I can go and take the paint selection tool off. And then I can move it over. And it says something about the document is locked. In order to unlock a document, you just double click on the layer and hit OK. Now you can move this around. Notice, however, 
it's moving everything but the circle. So when you paint something red, and you can see that because it's red here by turning this on, it's actually painting everything but the selection. So you have to go select inverse and then move it. That's a very advanced thing with the, the coloring of the mask. So I want to point it out in this video, but please note that you know it's one of those things I covered a little bit more on later lessons. Let's move on to the next video where I can cover some more selection tricks. Uh, it does take a long time to kind of see them all, so let's go on to the next video.